though, so I'm just allowed to say I'm going to kill myself at and any time? That's crazy. That's not fair. He's the one that messed up, not you. Oh. Don't make it harder on you. Chloe Kardashian reveals Tristan Thompson expressed suicidal thoughts after the cheating scandal with Kylie's BFF Jordan Woods came to light. The fact that Chloe is sitting here heartbroken but still worrying about Tristan's feelings and the possibilities of him being upset or possibly hurting himself. I mean, it just goes to show that Chloe is an unbelievable person. On part one of the two part season finale of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chloe says her ex was texting her apologies, saying he felt so bad about what he did that he may hurt himself. He's okay. So I get to the house and his door's locked. I start banging on the door. I'm like, open the door. He's like, I'm good. I'm like, yo, so why is Chloe saying that you're trying to, like, kill yourself? He's like, I'm good. And then I'm like, do you need anything? He's like, no. I'm like, I just call me if anything. I just... Do you think he's going to hurt himself? I know. Tristan's admission was just the tip of the iceberg, as Coco thought she may be pregnant just days before the drama unfolded, after suffering major migraines. Genuinely, I cannot believe it. Not pregnant. Not pregnant. Why the f am I nauseous all the time? I almost wish I was so I could just say that's why I'm nauseous. I think that if she was just to, you know, settle down and not have all these stressful situations coming at her one after another, she probably wouldn't have these migraines. The episode showed the whole family reacting to the makeout that allegedly went down at an Airbnb during the NBA All-Star Weekend in Los Angeles. So Jordan said that they did make out. Wow. Like, I'm just honest. I don't know why. I'm literally, like, shaking. Kylie, she provides for her whole family off of what you have given her. If she would do this to one of us, she would do the same thing to Kylie. We also learned what Jordan allegedly told Chloe after it all went down. So Jordan so called weird. me and said, I was your watchdog last night, and she was there to protect me and keep an eye out. That's why she stayed as late as she did. But Jordan never once has Jordan said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jordan anticipated how the episode would play out when she spoke with E.T. last week. What would you think when you saw that? You know, everyone has their truth and their story, and so you just go with go with it. Everyone has the right to speak their truth. Don't disappoint me. Wonder if I ever. The 21-year-old model admitted she's moving on and hopes everyone involved can do the same. Life moves on. Money doesn't stop. World doesn't stop. And hopefully, everyone is just you know going forward. Hopefully, the sky's the limit to trying new things getting into acting, I have my activewear line, more designing, and just really moving forward and keeping positive people around me. Life is short, you know, tomorrow is not promised. I was just hoping for a better outcome for my daughter.